Here are some ideas that arise from the poem Father and Child by Gwen Harwood. And the purpose of my presentation is to get you to think about what the poem is really about. And this might help you come up with an idea for a, a piece of writing for the craft of writing component of our course. What it also does is it, it shows you how you can connect the poem to the other texts that we're studying. The poems trace the impact of time on the relationship between the father and child. Um, and in Barnow, the child's impulsive act of killing the bird introduces her to the, the simple reality of death. Um, it's not a clean and simple act, and it has impacts on her for a long time afterwards. The second shot that she takes indicates the relationship between the father and the child and indicates that it's a close one. The girl is made to be responsible for her actions and she learns um, a harsh truth from it. And the, the relationship between them is a strong one and the father assists the child to develop an understanding of her world. The poem explores change in our lives and the inevitability of the loss of innocence. The poem Nightfall examines the consequences of change. Uh, through the child's coming to terms with her father's impending death. So, like the owl's, his is slow and it's complicated. And the father is now reliant on the child, um, though she wonders how she'll live up to his example when he's gone. So there is a clear uh, role reversal occurring. The child refers to her father as a king, which highlights the respect that she has for him. And their relationship is a strong one built on respect and has developed over the 40 plus years. The child now supports the father, which is a role reversal from in Barn Owl. And so though the respect in both poems, is, it's mutual. So both characters seem noble and honourable. Whoa. Symbols in it's in the left hand corner. It's a bit out there. So day and night are used to represent the transience of time and the passing from youth to old age. Night is symbolic of death, and it's uh, presented as having restorative qualities. So he will find peace, and she will look, mourn the loss of her mentor. Mentor, but but you know she will um, grow as a person as a result of it. Okay, so. How does the poem Father and Child connect to Henry IV, Part 1? So both texts explore the impact of relationships between father and child. Similar to the two parts in the poem, the play explores Howell's relationship to Henry and Falstaff. The contrast in their relationships um, and the relationships he has with these two characters emphasises the importance of the of the the um, fathers guiding their children's development. Relationships that are supportive, genuine and built on trust outshine those built on the neglect. And if you think about the play, there are two settings in the play and they sort of, uh, you know, you can make a connection to the two, two poems within the poem, um, different scenes and they have different purposes. Okay, the, the play examines how Prince Hal will gain the trust of his nation as he intends to model himself differently to his father's example of king. Hal will distance himself from Henry's usurpation of Richard II and demonstrate virtuous qualities to reinforce his honour as king. Thus, dualities um, are used in both texts to emphasise these ideas. The poem employs day and night and youthful innocence and maturity. Uh, the play examines honour and treachery and foolishness and responsibility uh, and youthful innocence and maturity as well. So both texts conclude that strong, genuine relationships are the foundation of good leadership, and, you know, um, good personal qualities. Both, both infer that um, children look to their fathers to set an example for them to follow. And this is a source of personal integrity. 